M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel, Radtel730. I found the software, the link is here. Just scroll down, I'll put the, a direct link in the description to where it says 730 waterproof 10 watt radio number 45 and just download that, use your XE. Run it and the cable I've got is actually this all-in-one cable, I'll put a link in for that as well, there's lots of them, they're only about £10. And it's the twin pin cable and it plugs into the right hand side of the radio. You take the cap off. I didn't have to um, download a driver. It just did it. The software looks like this. If you right click device manager, right click the windows squares, then go to device manager and ports. It's this one here called USB reader. COM22 is the one that it's coming up with me. So COM22, you go program, set, at the top it says set here, communication port, gives you the option to select that, mine is 22, and then you just click OK, and then to read, just go program, read, and the radio doesn't do much, just click read, just the LED flashes, that's why I'm not showing it, because you don't see anything. Okay, it's that quick and it's red. To change the frequency, you just choose one that you want to change. Close that down. So there's a blank one there, number 19. Let's put in 145.750 on the receive. 145.150, transmit, or oh, type, type that one wrong. This is GB3BC. We don't need receive code, but we do need transmit. So that's 94.8. High power because it's far away. Wide band and then the name. So the name is going to be GB3BC. Uh, like so, that would be channel 19. Scramble and hop. No, we haven't done that. At the top, we did put Hubnet in there, look. We could put in GB3WR, we've got 145.600, 145.000. Don't, it does do decode, but we don't need that. Digital code, off, but on transmit, we need 94.8. Um, yeah, high power, and then the name, GB3WR. Okay, let's do another one. GB3 FI, always really strong with me. 430.925. 438.525. Transmit. Off with receive. And then with TX is 77. High. Yeah. And then the different settings you've got, you've got machine info, which is the one I'm on. Let's click OK. Oh, don't want to clear data. Um, optional features here. So we can choose squelch, backlight, voice prompt. That's the talking, isn't it? Auto lock, timeout. Edit, Roger off. It's got the beeps, that's when you push the buttons. We don't want the QT tail, turn that off. Display LEDs, yeah, we want that. FM, shortcut, so you can choose scan, FM, warn, tone, weather, or copy channel. I'm going to put copy channel because I want to try that one out. Long press FM, I think that more means tone. I know you think radio, but I think it means actually tone. But yeah, input's quite a good one. That's the word monitor, tone and weather. So let's just choose one anyway. Weather we got, copy channels already there. So let's try scan, why not? Language, battery save off, don't need that. Double receive on, yeah, scan mode. Channel name on, hop type, what's that? And we can put a, a message when it boots. M0FXB, welcome. Hamtech. Okay, that'll do. Click OK. 
Um, you got read them here. What's com? Oh, is that the yeah right? Com will be your com port. So they're all shortcuts from the top. You can save, of course. File and save. Let's put that on my desktop somewhere. Actually, I'll just save it where it is. Documents that'll do. Rad tail seven three zero. Save. And then we're gonna go right data to radio, click right, it's very fast. The LED's flashing away. And you're done. That's how easy it is to use the software. Now I did download another program about the firmware, so that's the next video. Bye for now.